Hi, my name is Bukola Oyedoku and I serve on the response and alpha team. I'd like to encourage you, if you have not already done so, please attend one of the alpha classes. We have such an amazing fellowship time. We talk about topics like, is there more to life than this? You know, who is Jesus? Talk about the person of the Holy Spirit. We learn about so much, so much in Alpha. So I'd encourage you, please join us. And if you have attended before, you are always welcome to come back to Alpha. It's such a privilege to be sharing with you today on the topic, my most memorable verse in the Bible. As Christians, we have been blessed with numerous scriptures, numerous words in the Bible. We have that sure word of prophecy that shines light for us, even in the very darkest places. Many parts of the scripture, they give us this unwavering confidence about any situation we might be going through. But for the sake of this devotional, I'm going to be speaking on my favorite part of the Bible, which is 2 Peter 1.3. I'll read from the New King James Version. It says, according as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. But I love the message translation more. It says, everything that goes into a life of pleasing God has been miraculously given to us by getting to know personally and intimately the one who invited us to God, the best invitation we have ever received. Do you know how the scripture makes me feel? It makes me feel like a spoiled child of God, like a loved child of a loved God because of the assurance that it pro proclaims and the confidence that I get by just meditating on this word. It is not, you know, the type of confidence that emanates from pride or boastful arrogance. Absolutely not. But it is of humility. Knowing that on my own, I'm completely useless. Instead, I take my effort away from it all and I hand it over to God. Knowing fully well that is the one that can do all things. Like I trust in God more than I trust in myself. This verse on one part, you know, it talks about God giving us this life. So whether we want to talk about good health, we want to talk about health, we want to talk about opportunities, victory after trials, name it, whatever it is, I do not have to worry about these things. I am assured of one thing, that I will cross to the other side, a better and a stronger person, just because God has afforded me this life. On the other part, it talks about righteousness, you know, that I know that I've been given the gift of righteousness. I'm assured of that. So I effortlessly glory in this gift. I do, not please, I do not struggle to please God, even if my actions, you know, would always not be right. It doesn't take away my right standing. I'm assured of that. And I know that since I have entered into God's rest, I have ceased from all my struggles. So in terms of wanting to please God, I do not struggle to do so because I know the gift that God has given to me regarding righteousness. So how do we create a balance? How do we get this good life and this godly life? The scripture says that it is true, our knowledge of God. So I am conscious of building my relationship with God more and more, making it better. Because it is my knowledge of God that further helps me live a good and a godly life. Like this word has said. So the Bible verse in 2 Peter has been engraved in me for many, many years of meditation. It is my reality. I anchor my thought process, my action. I anchor it on this scripture. I've been able to move from a state of just knowing this scripture, but I've moved to a state of awareness that whether I am conscious of it or not, lines will always fall onto me in pleasant places just because God said so. I only expect good outcomes no matter what I might be going through. So today, I encourage you to take time out and meditate on this piece of scripture. The Bible verse is 2 Peter 1 3. Please do read it again and ruminate on it and you'll be blessed as you do so. Thank you for listening and have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.